Man, I got issues. I got issues with the black superheroes of my childhood. So in order to resolve them, I need to confront them. So please welcome to my mind, the Black Panther. Thank you for having me, Jerry. No problem. So here's what I remember about you. You are an African prince, right? That is correct. And what powers do you have, Mr. Panther? I am as strong as a rhino and as fast as a jungle cat. Next, Luke Cage. You got your powers due to some experiment when you were in prison, right? Yep, that's me. I got me steel hard skin and I'm one strong sucker. And Falcon, you were Captain America's sidekick and it's your costume that allows you to fly, correct? Yeah, it was an honor to work with Cap. I wouldn't change a thing. Uh-huh, unless it got you the chance to star in your own comic book, right? And by the way, Falcon, Cage, I want to personally thank you for not feeling like you had to put the word black in your title. Like the world can't see Joe Black. I mean, you know, he don't call himself White Spider-Man, right? Look, it's White Spider-Man. Oh, wow. Okay, now let me get this straight. Black Lightning, you basically put on a helmet with an afro wig, then went out to fight crime. Did I get that right? Well, technically there's a lot more to it than just putting. Man, just answer the question. Yes, sir. Now, Black Goliath, you can grow. Do I remember that correctly? You'd better believe that, brother. Well, at least that's something. So here's my first question. Do any of you have any real f powers? I mean, come on. Run like a jungle cat? Hard ashy skin? Polish Captain America's shield? Man, that's But I can grow. Oh, big deal, Black Goliath. You a Hank Pym's lab assistant. Man, how much did he pay you anyway? Well, Dr. Pym, the original giant man, was a brilliant scientist. How much did he pay you? All right, he only paid me three thirty-five an hour. But the experience. Man, I gotta tell you, you know you're the only comic book character I ever saw get beat up on the cover of his own comic book every single issue? Come on, not every issue. Mm-hmm. All right, well, here's the cover of one of Black Lightning's comics. Get him, Black Lightning. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah, okay, so now here's one of yours. Ooh, bet that hurt. Now here's one of Luke Cage's. You gotta admit, that's pretty cool. And another one of yours. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. Look, even sidekicks get cool covers. Here's Falcon jacking up Captain America. Bet that felt good, huh, Falcon? But Black Goliath, man, even your own peoples want to whip your butt. Here's you and Luke Cage. What's up with that? Man, Chump owed me six dollars talking about Professor Pym was late with his check. Look at you. You're probably the only hero whose utility belt contains a first aid kit. Have you ever actually won a fight? Well, um, uh, yeah, in, uh, issue number three, I beat this guy, and boy, was he tough. Yeah, okay, roll the tape. Oh, and you think you can beat me, little man? Well, thank, uh, <coughs> well, uh, that counts, right? I mean, I won. The important thing is... Luke Cage, has there ever been another superhero who spent time in the joint? I mean, why one of the only black heroes with his own comic? Why you? Well, uh, what had happened was... Well, uh, let's look. Daredevil, lawyer. Thor, doctor. Iron Man, Millionaire, Luke Cage, Jailbird. And let me ask you this, bro. So you went to Latveria and kicked Dr. Doom's butt. Why don't you just finish him off and make the world safe? Yo, he owed me money. Once I got it, hmm, I was cool in the game. So here or not, the message is don't mess the black man's money, huh? All right, so Black Panther, let me ask you. Does the jungle actually need a superhero? I mean, come on, man, how much time is there? And are there no cities in Africa? Only jungle? Yeah, that's what I thought. Black Lightning, when your book first started, you had no powers whatsoever, right? Well, if I saw a criminal, I can always... <laughs> Yo, what, squirt him with your afro sheen? Hit him with your blowout kit? Pick out his fro? I mean, come on, y'all. Look at Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. Super strength. X-ray vision. Cold breath. He's got all those powers and you guys don't have one? Combined? Well, I, I can always throw rocks or large stones, so if I'm in a, in a bind. Throw rocks? Man, the f Pink Panther could throw rocks. Well, I. Hey, you shut up before I beat you down right now. Hey, I helped take down the Red Skull, man. Man, first of all, Falcon, you look like you should be handing out coupons in front of a church's chicken. Ever see a white superhero wear green and orange? All that's missing is a hat. Secondly, roll the tape. I've kicked your sidekick's green and orange butt. Oh, now I will do the same to you. Oh. Well, I did take him down. Technically. You can always be my sidekick, Falcon. I mean, if you're interested. Man, f*** you. Well, what about Green Latin, man? And sweet Christmas, man, why are you tripping on us? Here's my point. First of all, I realize this is not your fault. You didn't create yourselves. But as a kid growing up, 
it would have been nice to see a black character who wasn't a sidekick and actually had some powers. Even in the comic strips, Lothar, who was the ruler of an African country, gave it all up to be Mandrake the Magician's sidekick. You think George Bush or Tony Blair would give up running their countries to be one of your sidekicks? Maybe if we just... Man, shut up, whack Goliath. And why you always got to have your shirts unbuttoned down your navel? You know the only other characters who have their shirts unbuttoned like that? Look, see how they treat y'all? And you know, the only good thing about you guys being so powerless is that the black villains were even more pathetic. Did we have a black Dr. Octopus or a Sandman? Or even what, like a Malcolm X-Men? No, anything. We had Rocket Racer, an urban kid with a f skateboard. Or the Prowler, a guy who had to build his own weapons with parts he stole from the local radio shack. I was too young to realize it at the time, but they didn't want to give you power because they didn't want to give kids like me the idea that we had any power. That we all needed to be content to be sidekicks and lab assistants making three thirty-five an hour in the comics and in real life. And that's my point. Oh, I just remembered. I almost beat the stealth man. That does it. Man, I thought I told you to shut up. <laughs>